Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Welcome back to Let's Play Bomberman Tournament. Last time, we got, excuse me, pretty well off into fantasy, but I doubt that this is the only floor in Castle Fantasy. Now, that being said, what kind of castle is this? I don't think anyone would want to live here, unless Brain Bomber happened to remodel while we were, while the kingdom was away. It has been a year, so I wouldn't doubt that he had enough time to do this. What did they do for a year anyway? Did they just sit around waiting for Bomberman? Ooh, nice fake out right there. Most of these puzzles take no mind power at all. So you can see where the, uh... Oh god. You ate my bomb, son of a bitch. Oh god, these guys take more than one hit. I am so afraid. Die, monsters. Oh god. I'm actually going to get, I'm actually kind of hurt right now. All right, that's better. So what I do like about Castle Fantasy is at the very least, they introduce a lot of different monsters. A whole bunch of different ones. Which I thought was pretty good, since it was very original. And when I say original, I mean... I mean, they kept some surprises for last, so good on them. Oh god. That being said, I mean, all most of these monsters, minus the Higa Higa Bandits, are all carbon copies from Newtopia, so what can be said about that? Crap. Now these bomb creatures are very interesting. And by interesting, I mean annoying. When they're about to explode, they're invincible. Like now. Oh my god! And you can only hit them when they're bouncing around like that. Oh boy, where to go now? Alright, that's the final door, but we have no reason to go in there right now. There's treasure to be found, obviously. So those guys, make sure you wait until they're after they're done exploding. Otherwise, there'll be no effect. Alright, let's see what's behind door number one. Hmm, weird. Of course I accidentally go through the door and have to reset. Alright, let's see what's in here. Something I can't get to, or can I? Yeah, you gotta think things really well. That's actually one of the- that's actually probably one of the harder puzzles, simply because you might not think all the way ahead. There we go. Oh, and the dreaded bomb kick puzzle. That's not so dreaded. In fact, we've seen this trap actually pretty... This is actually like a carbon copy of the trap we saw earlier. Alright, there we go. And we get the purple crystal. A little late for that. But it seems that Castle Fantasy only has one floor. Weird. By the way, you can run into the arrow and still take damage. I know that doesn't make sense, but it does. It's been fun playing Bomberman. It's a relatively short game, and it's easy to pick up. Alright, so... let's see. We've got the boss room, and then another optional room. Let's see... We're gonna need... Fire Kong. And the Power Bombs, because I want to pierce through all of these tiles. Ow. Man, I'm so careless now that I have too many hearts. Alright. One spike gone. Oh, this... No? Okay. That's one. 
Crap. There we go, that's another spike. Farakong is useful here because you either have to use Pommy Animal to dash over here and get to the other thing quickly, or you can use Fire Kong. Whatever floats your boat. I'm guessing there's medicine in here or something. I mean, what else could the game possibly give us? We already have golden armor and golden shoes, so why anything else? Hmm... Ah uh, yes, here we go. You gotta use the rainbow bridge sideways again. And what's in here? Large, uh, small medicine, of course! How generous of you, game, to give me small medicine. Then again, it's not the first game that did that. And I, and I just misspoke about this puzzle right here. You only need to, uh, put one switch down, so it's not that hard. I misspoke. Alright, so now let's go through here, and hopefully we'll get large medicine here. Maybe. I hope we got eggs. We got weird stone-eating things. Well, let's see if they like these. We got two. That's another one. One's dead. That's another one. One more! Alright, that's it. And what lies in here? Whoa! There we go. And in this chest we have large medicine, so that's your full heal before the boss battle. And the boss battle is actually mildly challenging. So here we go, this is gonna be it. We're gonna fight the boss in this episode. We're gonna use Kami King to unlock the door, and we'll equip Fire Kong for good measure. Here we go, viewers! It's Max! And Brain Bomber! Bomber Man? Ha! We're almost done. Max, keep him busy. And Max doesn't seem to recognize us. And I guess he's brainwashed. And we get to hear Max's theme. And he acts very similar to an enemy from the multiplayer game. He's actually quite smart, so what you need to do is chase him around with RC bombs, and then hit him before he can turn. That's the simple way of doing this, if you have RC bombs. If you don't use RC bombs, it's really difficult. Because, obviously you can't... Well, there's other ways to do it. He also has average stats, he can shoot three bombs, each of which have bomb power of three. Another way to do it is chase him around with the RC bomb, without Fire Kong, and hope it explodes before he turns. I'm just teasing him right now. And that's it. We just knocked out our friend with explosions. If you notice over there, the robot doesn't have his foot. So the robot's not done yet, thank goodness. Max, you are a failure. I have no use for failures. Brain Bomber, I'll get you for this. And so we fight Brain Bomber. Brain Bomber is actually the creator of the remote ow of the remote bomb. Yes, that's right. Brain Bomber created the remote bomb. He truly is a genius for letting us have access to his own weapon. And uh yeah, this is the difficult part cuz he shoots a ton of directional lasers. Ow. And Max doesn't really do much. I've seen him get hits off every now and then, but not much. The only time you're going to be able to hit Brain Bomber is when he lands from shooting lasers. So just keep a bomb on standby and just dodge. Like that. He should be relatively easy to kill. Ow. 
Yeah, so you can't hit him there. And Max can also get hurt too. I've not seen Max die ever in my life, so I wouldn't worry about it. I think Max will be just fine. I maybe I have I haven't I've never I've never hurt Max so that bad. So it seems like there's nothing to be worried about. These randomized gooey bombs are weird too. They explode at random times. I really should try and see what happens if I kill Max. I don't think I can. It is cool, however, that we get the U that Max is at least our buddy for this battle. Ow. Brain Bomber is not so hard. Mostly because he has a set pattern. Ow. And if you're lucky, you can hit him twice before he shoots out gooey bombs again. And as you can see, the electricity doesn't really hurt Max. Max will, however, act like an enemy, and he will dodge your own bombs. So he's at least smart about getting out of our way. Come on, Brain Bomber. Die. Ow. Thought I could hit him. Would have been worth it, too, but oh well. So as you can see, Max does not contribute to the fight very well. And that's it! I didn't need to use one large medicine the entire game. I didn't use healing items the entire game. Oh wait, no, did I? Did I use it once? I think I did it once. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, let's get the heck out of here. Whee! And so, the game... The ending is kind of disappointing. We never do fight that boss up there. It would have been nice if we did, but we never did. And Fantasy Castle is going to return to its normal form. Magically. So I guess it was a magic spell or something, I don't know. And all the people we have met are all celebrating. And we get a coronation. Because we're heroes and stuff. And Queen Emeralda is congratulating us. You know, hooray and all that. I do like the sprite work in this game. And now she's surprised for some reason. Because apparently the Max that we all know and love was the same Max from one year ago that saved this very world from the Dashley Bombers. So the backstory is, I'll explain it to you, is that Max was human before his battle, his first battle with the Dashley Bombers. However, when he fought Brain Bomber, he was severely damaged and was trained and was transformed into a cyborg, becoming a cyborg bomber man. And that is why he's the way he is now. So, Max doesn't actually have blue eyes, but I guess his his name is he's called the Blue-Eyed Samurai because his helmet has those uh blue lenses on them. He actually has green eyes, but oh well. And we get a we get the mini game soundtrack for the end. I do like it. I like the I actually I really like the uh, I really love the spaceship thing. Cause I don't know, I guess they're feeling pretty good about themselves. Barman's doing some sweet flips in that spaceship. And I guess Max is just kinda sitting there playing the straight man. And we get some meteors, some multicolored meteors. So uh, the Dashley Bombers do escape once again, and they will make an appearance in a later GameCube game. I believe it was Bomberman Jetters? I'm not quite sure. But uh, yeah, there they go. By the way, the Dashley Bombers are also Cyborg Bombermen. They were created by an evil doctor that actually was not- oh whoa, asteroid belt. They were created by an evil doctor that did not make an appearance in this game. He was, however, in Super Bomberman 2. I don't know, maybe the uh, Dashley Bombers became independent, or the doctor was behind us all along and we just never found him. So that's that for uh, Bomberman Torment. I like this game, it's very short. Um, although the only reason I bought it was because I was a big fan of Bomberman and it came out pretty close to the release date of the Game Boy Advance. I don't think that anyone else would normally pick up Bomberman. Whoa, what the heck are- 
Where is Bomberman driving? Bomberman is a crazy driver. Anyway. That's that's my review for the game. I get I, I think the game is great. I think the game was great, and I think that people who figured out that it was a a can a, maybe a tribute to Notopia also enjoyed it as well. I enjoyed it for the Bomberman. Other people probably enjoyed it for the Notopia, the nostalgia. Uh, as for the game itself, I would say that this game runs fairly mostly on nostalgia. I don't think any other I don't think anyone besides a Bomberman fan or a Hudson Soft fan would pick up the game, considering that Bomberman kind of lost it after the N64. I'd say that around the GameCube era, uh, people took less of an interest in Bomberman. It would have been great if he was in Super Smash Bros., but uh, that never happened, so it's too bad for Bomberman. I do look forward if I, I do look forward to seeing if Hudson, so Hudson Soft decides to create another Bomberman game. Not like the one that was on Xbox, because that one was stupid and uh, pointless and very dry. But uh, hopefully, maybe we'll get another cool Bomberman game. Hopefully one that's like Super Bomberman Adventure for the N64, or maybe Bomberman 64 itself. Uh, that would be nice. I really would like that. And we only had two testers in this game, and you know, they did a good job. There's only one glitch in the game, and uh, it's not that game-breaking, because it only works in multiplayer. So good for those guys. They did a good job. The game itself is pretty well put together. A little too easy, but hey, you know what? Uh, they had the right target audience. And I suppose they felt bad for making Super Bomber Bomberman 64 really, really hard. So that's it. That's the end of Bomberman Tournament. I hope you enjoyed this. I did. It's a nice break from Dragon Warrior Monsters. And uh, I, I really liked it. It was a nice, quick action RPG you could play in a day. And even though it took me about 20 days because I didn't do it, but you could probably beat it in a day. So uh, hopefully if you like this, you should go give Bomberman a try. Because that is the point of this channel. I hope I I take games that are kind of underrated, under under underseen, and I recommend to other people. So hopefully you like Bomberman. Hopefully it looked fun to you. I will probably put up a video that shows the multiplayer off, and hopefully you guys will uh, take a look at it. I really hope you I really hope you do. This is Demo27. Wishing you all a brighter tomorrow, and uh, have a good day. Next time I'll probably have a new game up. Uh, well, while parallel to trying to do Dragon Warrior Monsters. It takes a while for me to breed those boss monsters, but hey, that's that's how it is. See you later, everyone.